couple of years ago. And this is a true story about a palm tree in Hackney that was hacked to within an inch of its life and they believed would die. A lot of people upset about it. But if they'd have waited, anyway, it's an alliterative poem and the law will be obvious. The people, peers have politely pointed, practically palpitating and pathetically plucked and pruned palm. Pedestrians puzzled and perplexed at the pile of the plundered birch and perished blooms, prone and prostrate on the pavement. Panic percolated and pandemonium proliferated. The palm was poorly, very poorly. The palm's protectors pondered its position. The prognosis was poor, post-mortem pending. No paracetamol, potion pill or panacea could prevent the pain. The public took pity, put pen to paper. Prosecute the perpetrator, the protesters piped. Porridge, yes prison, with no prospect of pardon or parole, is the preferred punishment. A period of penal pillory, penitence to be paid. Possibly Parkhurst, Pentonville perhaps. The plight of the palm's predicament was perilous, precariously placed on the precipice. The parish priest's pronouncement from the pulpit of the palm's paralysis and procrastinations appeared pessimistic. The parishioners proposed a prayer, a pledge, a promise. The chance of pulse, post mortem postponed. The palm's purgatory to the palm's passport to purgatory has been promptly placed on pause permanently. The proclamation of the pews proved positive. A premonition of prudent patience predicted the price bomb's passage to paradise in perpetuity. Like a proud peacock parading and posing in all its pomp, the palm produced priceless, precious, peerless, pristine, perfect blooms. The protagonist's persistence and perseverance prevailed. The palm's preservation is now perennial. Privately and personally, a papal prayer from our Pontiff the Pope put the palm on the path to prosper in peace. Praise be, Amen. And the moral, don't piss off the Penfold Parish Park. <laughs>